Also, I want to emphasize that without the assistance of Central United Methodist Church right here across the street, this event would not have been possible. So let's have a warm round of applause for Reverend Ed Rowe. Reverend Rowe is a people's leader. He is a people's pastor and a people's minister. Just this last past week, we were up in Grand Rapids, Michigan for an appeals hearing for Reverend Edward Pinckney. How many people here have heard of Reverend Edward Pinckney? Reverend Pinckney is from Ben Harper, and he has been sentenced to three to ten years in prison for the crime of quoting the Bible, for quoting from the book of Deuteronomy. And for carrying out that quote, he was sent to prison in Michigan. He stayed there for a whole year. And it was only the outcry of the people here in the state of Michigan and throughout the United States that brought about a motion by the American Civil Liberties Union that was granted by the State Appeals Court here in Michigan where he was able to be released, although he's still in the house arrest in Benton Harbor, but he is out of prison. There was an appeals hearing to his conviction that was held just this last past week in Grand Rapids. And Reverend Ed Rowe was there, and many of you that are here today were there, and we testified, we paid witness to the fact that Reverend Pinckney should not be under house arrest. He should have never been convicted. In fact, he should be given a medal of honor for standing up against racism and national discrimination against people you know, in Bannon County in the, the southwest part of Michigan. It will be entertaining to see. Which in many ways is worse than southwest Mississippi was during the 1950s and 1960s. He flashes a camera in someone's face. In Bannon County, they still have a segregated racist judicial system. They have a segregated and racist employment system. Whirlpool Corporation, which is a multinational firm, controls Barron County. Right now, they're in the process of moving thousands upon thousands of black folks out of Barron County in order to set up a resort center and a golf course for many people to play when, in fact, people are losing their homes in Benton Harbor and Benton Township. And Reverend Pinckney stood up for those people in Benton, Benton Harbor, and that's why right now he's facing the wrath of the criminal justice system here in the state of Michigan. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to fight back and we're going to resist <laughs> and we're going to free Reverend Pinckney from that house of rest and he's going to be vindicated and he's going to reclaim his rightful place as an organizer in Burlington yeah. County and throughout the state of Michigan. The whole time, man. We also want to talk about the struggle that's going on right now around national health care. We need a national health insurance program in the United States. Every single resident of this, of this country has an inalienable right to universal health care. We have paid for it over and over again. Yet, the issue is being subverted on many different levels. Congressman Conyers, who will be here uh, later on during the course of this summit, has a bill right now before the U.S. Congress. And that bill is being ignored because the powers that be, the private interests that control the health care system in this country, do not want all of us to have national health insurance. They don't want it because they think it will interfere with their profit-making adventures. But what we're saying is that we demand national health insurance here in the United States. Right across the Detroit River in Canada, they have national health insurance. So if they have it there, why can't we have it here in the United States? They have it in Cuba. Cuba is supposed to be a poor third world country composed of majority black population. They have national health insurance. They have a better health program in Cuba than what we have here in the United States of America. And they're supposed to be a poor country, an oppressed country, a former colonial country, yet their health care system is far superior than it is here in the United States of America, which is touted around the world as being the land of the free and the home of the brave, as being the most wealthiest country on the planet. Well, if they're the most wealthiest country on the planet, everybody here should have a right to national health insurance. We're also here to raise the question of housing. Housing is a human right. Everybody in the United States of America should have a right to a home. That we, that's why we're calling for an immediate moratorium on all foreclosures and evictions right here in the state of Michigan. We have been calling for this now for over two years. Michigan has one of the highest foreclosure rates in the United States. We have one of the highest unemployment rates in the United States. Despite the fact that the working class people of the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan built many of the event, uh, 
are responsible for many of the advances that were made right here in this country. The eight hour day came out of the struggle of the workers right here in the state of Michigan. The Flint sit down strike, the UAW efforts to recognize the UAW in 1941 is largely responsible for working people having a 40 hour week and for having an eight hour day and for workers to have the benefits that they have right now. We owe a debt to the working people here in the state of Michigan. And the people in the state of Michigan are being disrespected. And we object to that. And the only way in which we're going to get the respect that we need and the respect that we deserve is we're going to have to organize and we're going to have to mobilize based upon our own political program. The Democratic Party cannot give us a program. The Republican Party cannot give us a program. The masses of people here in the city of Detroit and in the state of Michigan, we must develop our own political program, our own economic program, and mobilize and organize around that program in order to win, in order to gain full employment, in order to gain national health insurance, in order to stop foreclosures and evictions, and in order to end the senseless genocidal wars that are going on right now in Iraq and Afghanistan. Thank you.